Hello everyone. Today we're going to be looking at the sixth lesson from the Baltimore Catechism, Book 1. The subject is the incarnation of Christ and the redemption of fallen man. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. The first question in this lesson is most interesting. It says, did God abandon man after he fell into sin? Remember, God is all perfect. So, no, God did not abandon man after he fell into sin. But he promised us a redeemer. A redeemer who is to satisfy for our sins and who is to reopen the gates of heaven to us. Now, the Redeemer is, of course, our blessed Lord Jesus Christ, and he is the second person of the Holy Trinity, sharing the divine nature with God the Father and God the Holy Ghost, being together three persons in one God. And Christ our Lord was always in existence. He only became man when the Holy Ghost conceived him in the womb of the Virgin Mary. And this is what we Catholics believe. Now, here I have il bambino, as the Italians would say, you Italians, and uh, the Christ child, the baby Jesus, il bambino. And we bring him out at Christmas and we have him in our home as a joyful celebration of our redemption from our sins and our hope that we will gain heaven. Uh, we can also have the nativity set, which is the commemoration of the adoration of the, the shepherds and the three wise men, the three magi. And uh, Our Lady, the Virgin Mary, will be on one side of the baby Jesus and St. Joseph, uh, the foster father, of the baby Jesus will be on the other. And um, the nativity set is a wonderful thing to have in the home if you have children, because it's a wonderful way for everyone to come together and to remember the real meaning of Christmas, the real celebration, which is our joy and thankfulness to God for becoming man for us and coming to redeem us through his crucifixion. So, um, there we go, the baby Jesus, a wonderful, wonderful time of the year, Christmas, for sure. Now, I'm going to read to you from the story of when Our Lady conceived the baby Jesus. And we can find this in the book of St. Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. And what's happened just before that is that Mary's cousin, St. Elizabeth, has found that she is in her sixth month of pregnancy. She who was, she who was barren, who had in her long marriage never been blessed with a child. And it is her sixth month of pregnancy. And the archangel Gabriel... Remember, the archangels are the messengers of God. He comes with a message to the Virgin Mary. He comes and finds her in her home to give her a most important message from God. So let's begin. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God into a city of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel being come in said unto her, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Who, having heard, was troubled at his saying and thought with herself what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said to her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found grace with God. 
Behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and shalt bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of David his father, and he shall reign in the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How shall this be done, because I know not man? In other words, how can she conceive a child if she is still a virgin? And the angel answering said to her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the Most High shall overshadow thee. And therefore also the Holy which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she also has conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her that is called barren, because no word shall be impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, may it be done unto me according to thy word. Because, and the angel departed from her. We Catholics believe that it was at that moment when Our Lady agreed to be the mother of the Son of God, of God made man, that the Holy Ghost came upon her and conceived in her womb, Christ our Lord. And we celebrate the birth of Christ on Christmas Day, but the Annunciation of the Archangel Gabriel is also a very special feast day for us, and we celebrate that day on March 25th. It is called the Feast of the Annunciation. So I hope that you consider the incarnation of Christ as a special gift to you too, to all of us who accept him as our Lord and who uh, become baptized as Roman Catholics and who try to live holy lives and sin no more. God bless you all. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.